Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and we're in Los Angeles, California at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Chris Malazri, who is a leading cardiac surgeon at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. Dr. Malazri, it is great to see you again and thanks for being with me. Yeah, thank you very much, Adam. Yeah, so the Ross procedure is a very complex operation Many patients with aortic valve disease also have aneurysms. Getting lots of questions from patients, which is, can a patient with aortic valve disease and an aneurysm get a Ross procedure? So you're absolutely right, Adam. Patients with aortic valve disease often have an aortic aneurysm associated with the aortic valve disease. People think that Ross procedures are just to treat the aortic valve disease or replace the diseased valve with the patient's own pulmonary valve. But a lot of times, the aneurysm also will get replaced. So a large part of the aorta is replaced as part of the procedure for the ROS. So to answer your question, if you have an aneurysm with your aortic valve disease, you are still a candidate for the ROS. Dr. Malazari, quick follow-up. I'm sure patients are wondering, as a surgeon who does a good amount of ROS procedures, what additional considerations do you need to prepare for if you're doing both the ROS procedure and an aortic aneurysm treatment at the same time? Yeah, there's two things I look at for the Ross procedure. First, is the procedure doable? Can we do this Ross procedure and give this patient a fully functional aortic valve? But I'm also looking to make sure that the procedure is durable, meaning it's long lasting years, maybe decades in the patient's lifetime. So the technicality with aortic aneurysm is to prevent failure of the pulmonary autograft, meaning that we don't want to see the replaced valve, the pulmonary autograft, get bigger over time. So there's techniques we use during the surgery in order to stabilize the autograft so the autograft does not become aneurysmal. And I think this will make the procedure not only doable, but also durable. And Dr. Malaysia, for someone who doesn't know much about the Ross procedure, when you say autograft, you're talking about the pulmonary valve that has been transferred over to the aortic position. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. So um, we have to take the patient's diseased aortic valve out. And in its place, we use the patient's own pulmonary valve in addition to the pulmonary artery. So we take the whole pulmonary route. That is the replacement piece. Well, Dr. Malazari, on behalf of patients with aortic valve disease and aneurysms who are thinking about the Ross procedure, thank you and your team at Northwestern Medicine for all the great work you're doing. Thanks for being with me today. Thank you very much. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.